In Skyrim, Meridia's champions fight for good. This is the story of Cassie. <laughs> Lost Echo Cave. Tough for an elf with one eye. That's all it takes, sweet. One eye, one knife, one neck. Yours. But first, I need a reason. <laughs> first, you have to break your promise. The same promise that every citizen makes with the law. To serve it. To abide by it. The same one the guards promised to protect. They caught me. Reigns. The one who makes sure that nothing is broken. I keep the law, and I kill anyone who defies it. Uh... What does this cave have to do with that? A group of guards decided to forfeit their lives by breaking their oaths to serve and turning to banditry. The Fetchers probably figured this cave would make for a good hideout. Especially after they found the secret entrance. Palma are vicious though. Worse than criminal scum. Those Oathbreakers didn't stand a chance. All they left were bones. Bandits, eh? Felma, he could follow me. Yeah, like running into old friends, I bet. Lawbreakers always <laughs> hang out in groups. Too cowardly to go at it alone. Still, it seems we've got some things in common, sweet. You wouldn't be here otherwise. Alright, you might be worth following. But if you want to kill Farmer, first we need to find a way in. Sweet. Some kind of insult. God. Somebody help! No. <laughs> we help. Okay, they're, they're fighting the Felmer bandits. Ceremonial brazier. I know it sounds irrational, but faith is irrational. If we knew the truth, it would be fact and irrefutable. But we do not, so all we can do is believe. You take the wrong <laughs> Fireballs. 
You we shall will die this day. To the death! To the end! Your mother was a fever, and your father smelled of snowberries. Damn, backbiter! Come on, warrior. Fight me, late, late. He keeps using fireballs like that. His followers will kill him. Try not to look too incompetent. It's embarrassing. They haven't attacked him yet. Thank you. I thought that beast would be the end of me. No, Lawbreaker. I am the end of you. Help me! Do something! Die. Pathetic. The boy nearly died of shock before my blades managed to drink him. I was going to let him live, but thought better of it. He was too frail. He would have made for a poor witness. Now, where should we hunt next? There are more lawbreakers where this one came from. Guess that was the last of your lawbreakers. The last of these ones. But there's plenty more. And I will let the ground drink what my blades do not. Uh, too frail to live, what do you mean by that? Simple. You need a witness. Someone to spread the word about the bad Dunmer with the shark. Daggers. First, you lop off the fetcher's little finger. Make them think you're letting them off easy. Then you do the thumb. They'll never hold the blade again. Or count the lizards before they hatch. If they are male, I like to castrate them too. You don't want these bandits bleeding like a pack of marsh rats. I'll burn off their ears. I'll scoop out their eyes. But the one thing I'll never take is their tongues. <laughs> uh... I've just been killing them. You can't become a keeper overnight, Scream. It takes time. I used to think like you. Thought death was the remedy. Bandits don't fear death. You have to give them something scarier. Fine. Any place in particular you want to check for bounties? Let's try the B and Bar. Lots of criminal scum and rift. Say we grab a thief and break his legs. And leave him in the market for the crows to feast on. The rest will scatter into the sewers like rats. Uh. All right. You know where I'll be. following 
What happened to your eye? Bird. One of my ancestors was a Ferlica, and his poisonous blood turned my right eye green. A vial of liquid nightshade. Pour it down my right eye, burn the poison out. Uh, you burned your own eye. To spot your face. Losing the cat's eye was an improvement. You ought to cut off your own foot, seeing as how it's halfway down your mouth. I'm amazed you can even walk. <laughs> I have errands to run, I'll meet you in Riften. Fine. Ahem. <clears throat> Okay. Though the Falmer as they are now may sicken me, my heart grieves for what they used to be centuries ago, before the lapsed into a well Maker made the world beautiful, but he also I used the centaurs in Valinor. To really experience I learned a little centauri so I could not, speak with them. Not hide away in some nunnery. Actually, I don't want to do the bird's eye yet. Uh. Conditions in the Warrens. I thought about settling here. Thought it was nice with all the waterfalls and the silver, of course. But I realized I'd prefer wings to roots. All the miners, farmers, and laborers in the reach get their daily wages through the silver blood. The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? Uh, only the poor and the sick live here. That's right. Welcome to Markarth, Traveler. Thank the Divines you can choose to live somewhere else. Uh-huh. I don't want to be here. No one wants to. <gasps> and another poor sod bites the dust. We can't even blame this one on Jira Nur. Now, some people might fault the Silverbloods for these lovely accommodations. If you ever meet someone like that, it's best to keep your distance. Oh, this because doesn't that look good at all. that person not only lacks common sense, but is probably a skooma addict. For you see, a good businessman. And the Silverbloods, well, they are good businessmen. 
They don't let valuable property die. And that's all our friend here was. Property. But now, he's finally free. Saying he was a slave? In reality, yes. But in the eyes of the law, no. Although his wage is bordered on slavery, that fine line is what separates the villains from the virtuous. Uh, what are you doing here? You might say I'm here to uh, acquire property. Slaves. I promise them fortune and glory and give them a life of bondage. But that was before. Before I learned that my mother was born a slave, like Saint Alessia herself. So now I no longer acquire slaves. I plan to free one. But right now, I'm just thirsty. Let's uh, discuss this over at the inn, shall we? You don't want to be here. No one wants to. They say this city once belonged to the dwarves. Hard to believe, isn't it? Can you imagine? Dwarves <laughs> running up and down the paths. With the little dwarf children in their pointy dwarven hats. You're waiting for me. Can't get up this walkway. Oh, look at the colors. You're invited to the grand opening of the Genius Meter. Oh, really? Thank you. Weird hell. We could give her one. Huh? Heard you broke out of Sidna mine with those four sworn. Do you have any idea how many died? You're invited to the grand opening of Angenius Meter. Oh, well, thank you. I'll try and read this if I can. You. You aren't with the Forsworn, are you? Uh, people say they saw you when the prisoners escaped. So many dead. Well, of course you do. You're invited to the grand opening of Angenius Meadery. Oh, how kind. Thank you. Hmm, probably should be recruiting actual... Uh, pardon me, stranger. Will you help me raise a flagon for my dear departed brother? May he find May peace in Sovngarde. Every piece. Uh, sure, why not? Then let's raise a toast to the best, bravest, and handsomest damn Nord I ever knew. My twin brother, <laughs> Ungvir. Okay. Okay. Farewell. in the end, yep. 
Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Leper, my good man. How's married life? Disappointing. I'm sorry to hear it. But I've been in your shoes, and it's still better than walking on bare feet. It would be nice to have some downtime. How about drink? None ah, of that I local piss. The last time I Real Blackbriar mead, fresh from Traveling Riften. Traveling with you has its perks. You read my mind, Clapper. A bottle of Blackbriar Reserve for me and my good mm. friend here. Oh, all right, that's better. Now that we're settled, I take it you're going to have some questions. You used to work for slavers? Yep, and I had no problems doing it. I convinced myself I was giving them a better life. The slave masters I know make sure their property is well rested. You get a bed and three square meals a day. Of course, there's that uh, pesky matter of losing your personal freedom that makes any benefits seem lousy in retrospect. Personal freedom... Uh. Slaves wouldn't take kindly to defectors. That's why I haven't technically defected. As in, I'm still working on how I plan to betray them. I was kind of hoping you'd help me. <laughs> who are the buyers? All sorts of people. From all walks of life. There are those who want the labour, and others who want to make a political statement. Then there are those whose interests are, uh, more, well, you know, carnal. It really depends on what kind of property you're looking to purchase. Okay, so... I wonder what happens when the customer <coughs> what are they looking for? To pay for a meal The market two. changes, but generally, slaves fall into three categories. The hard labor, to work in the mines and the fields. The house labour, as in washing dishes, cleaning linens, sweeping the floor. And of course, the one thing that is always in demand is whores. Men, women, beasts. A noble is not a noble without a harem to call their own. Um. Illegal, immoral, and downright mean. But that doesn't stop people from doing it. Just like anything else that's profitable. But these folks are remnants of the old house Drez. People who consider slavery to be as natural as breathing. For them, it's more than just the money. It's tradition. <coughs> Slaves are the worst kind of scum. I agree. Although bandits, uh, vampires, and warlocks might object. At least slavers try to keep their property in working condition. Oh, all right, that's better. Now that we're settled, I take it you're going to have some questions. Your mother was a slave. Yeah, she was a girl from a small town in Whiterun by the name of Riverwood. They promised her a fortune in gold and gave her chains of iron. I've been to Riverwood, what was her name? Did I say Riverwood? <laughs> I get these uh, small Nord villages confused. It was a uh, another one. Riverwood's been on my mind because, well, you know, dragons. Well, you might say we share a striking resemblance. She recognized me immediately, of course. Didn't say a word. It turns out that one of the guards had took pity on her and raised me as his own. <laughs> Sad story. But I aim to make sure it has a happy ending. Oh, all right, that's better. Now that we're settled, uh, I take it you're going to have some questions. You want to free or what's your next move? Well, I was going to start by doing my old job. Recruiting a miner. Not as a slave, but as bait. 
You see, I haven't been delivering any slaves as of late, and my employers have told me coming, uh, not to return until I do so. I've been cleaning up spills, and there is so I need someone to serve as my prisoner and get me inside. Then it's just a matter of finding her and finding a way out. Like you and your sister. Are you going to walk over to father and start hitting him again? Oh, help. No. Oh, no, excellent. No. With you posing Maybe as a slave, later, I don't have to put I'm one of these poor saps in danger. Where's she been held? Well, that's the tricky part. She spent her whole life working the mines, but age is catching up with her. The old ones, uh, they usually get auctioned off as chambermaids up at the old Rothvine Manor, up north. But whether you're a new slave or an old one, before anybody goes to auction, they first get sent to the docks in a shattered plank cave. Well, basically, we can try either location, but it depends on what kind of cover story we're going to use. That will determine our next move. Uh. I could play the role of a buyer. Interesting. Typically the slavers won't sell to an unknown. Well, not unless you pay the initiation fee. And that's no small sum. One thousand gold. Uh, Not a problem. What role do you think you can play? Hard labour. You took the thoughts right out of my mind. Most of the miners I bring them are sickly, but a healthy specimen like yourself will fetch a good some price. Wine, please? All right, then it's settled. Find some miners' clothes and meet me at the docks in solitude when you're ready. Miners' clothes. Forsworn rampaging through the streets, as if business wasn't slow enough. Yeah. What I should do is disable the clone. Still keep the mod turned on. Without How are your chores coming, my son? Today I have cleaned the linens, washed the floors, and... Good Lord, didn't anybody here subscribe?